Trevor Bauer, speaking of kicking butt, Trevor Bauer, I mean, do you know him? I uh, know. I know his work. I don't know him personally. Because uh, he's a feisty one. He, I didn't know. He has really uh, come out strong against the commissioner, Rob Manfred. And uh, he, he complained about the proposal. It's not in it's not, law right, right now. This but it's was a proposal a sto- right. to go to 14 playoff teams instead of 10, which I, don't, I actually don't think he was complaining about that. What he was complaining about and what led him to go off on Rob Manfred is this proposal that a division winner will be able to pick their first-round opponent from the wild-card teams, which I agree with Bauer is absolutely ridiculous. It's Bush League. It's Sandlot. It's barbecue picnic softball-type junk. And and and, and for, for people who might be tuning in who don't know, they did make, make a rule change, Chris. You know, it was talked about a year or so ago and floated out there, and now it's official for this coming season, the 2020 season, and I think you're going to be happy about this. Yes, and we will get to that, but let's first hear what Bauer said, and then we'll, we'll comment on that. All right. You want to market the game? Don't change it. Don't make the mound 62 feet. Don't make playoffs where you have to pick your opponent and – Freaking whatever. Don't change the game. Market the players. You have more players in baseball than any other league with much more diverse backgrounds worldwide, more so than any of the other major American sports. And it's the least marketable. It's because you make stupid decisions about how you market the players. You don't open it up. Let content go. Get it out there. Now, that was Bauer put that out before the new rule change came about, which is that Pitchers now, relief pitchers. relief pitchers have to face at least three batters in that inning or close. they must close the inning. So if they come in, all pitchers, if they come in with one batter left, there's two outs and there's one batter to face, they can just face that batter and then not come out for the next inning. But if they come out, if they start an inning, they have to, they pitch, have to, to pitch to at least three pitchers and, and even including starting pitchers. Now here's the, the issue I have. With the rule, well, or, what we want to talk about Bauer for what well, Bauer ran, which is, which is pretty hot. I mean, and you know, it's funny because we talked to Jerry Harrison Jr. on the podcast, Chris, on the Inside the Parker podcast, which dropped this morning, and Jerry said he had talked to a lot of players, and you know, the Union Players Association has a major say in rule changes. Right. It ain't no the league decides or whatever. The players have to sign off on right. it. He said he had talked to a lot of players that he works out with in Arizona and whatnot, and he said there was very little support for that about the whole for the idea. For expanding the playoffs? For, for the picking and, yeah. Well, the picking, and, and, but what about the playoffs? But, but just a whole new floating of changing the playoffs. Okay. So that's what he said that he and, – and, and the way Bowers come out I don't says understand, it. Rob, why – I get why you may not like it as a purist. But I don't understand why players wouldn't want more playoff teams. It's not like they said we're going to have 16 or 18 no, in each but league I think, but total. It's... But for a player, if I got more of an opportunity to make the playoffs, I want that. But baseball, Chris, and I'm not going to say this without really knowing, but as far as rule changes, the game hasn't really changed a lot. Since it, it was, but it's changed. I like, mean, the like, mound's been higher; it's been lower. But I'm talking about the rules of the game. The game itself it's, has changed. It's it's more because of analytics. Yeah, but I'm talking about rule changes, and, I, and they're not. The DH was in, was sliding at home plate, right? Because somebody got home. hurt. Like, I right? think it's changed. I mean, I'm trying to off the top of my head. I'm just saying that has, this, it, has it changed less than the NBA and well, but football? They, well, they've changed a lot more rules, and NFL changes. The NBA has a three point line, which was. What forty years ago? Yeah, and they do the. Other than that, they do like the replays for the end of the. I don't want to get too convoluted. I, I'm I don't just know feeling this. Much there's, more there's more of a there's more of a traditionalist. Even when they did the wild card, a lot of people push back. But I, it's been great. I originally pushed back as well. I didn't want to see. I don't want baseball to turn into the other sports where half the league makes the playoffs. And I think there's some players who, despite you're right, they could be in the playoffs. Chris, they could make he some playoff money. That that they're not with that yet. They but anyway, get more celebrity, more long, recognition. Long story uh, uh, short, I uh, I'm a little surprised at how strong he's come out against the commissioner. I get some of the stuff we talked about it at Major League Baseball. If there's a big home run or a play, it can't go immediately onto Twitter. They own the rights; they don't allow it. it has to it has to come down. So other sports, that's not the case. 
you see a great dunk or whatever, it's on right. it, from the NBA. It's all, it's, it's all over the place, like, immediately. So there's stuff like that that needs to happen. Marketing, I get part of it. It's different. It's different for the NBA because it's fewer players. And even when you talk about 12, it's only three or four guys that really matter. It's easier to mark, market that. Baseball, you have a, a 26-man roster, and a lot of people are are there. And the other part is – the basketball sneaker business is bigger, where people can wear Kawhis and can wear, uh, you know, uh, at the uh, you know big players, Jordans, Jordans or LeBrons. You can wear, I can wear those, right. and and the sneaker company markets those guys as well. So it seems like they're all over the place, and they are, and they are much well, more. Well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The late David Stern, I thought he was the greatest commissioner in American sports history, and he is the one that really decided we're going to market the individual in the NBA more so than the teams. And that's been wildly successful as a business plan. NBA athletes, while it is third biggest sport in America, whether or not you want to say baseball because revenue is second or college football is second, uh, but base basketball, even though the athletes aren't the – it's not the biggest sport in America – the NBA athletes are the most recognizable athletes, not only in America, but around the world. American athletes, soccer athletes would be the whole world. But in America, American athletes, NBA players are the most marketable and most recognizable around the globe well, because think, they've marketed individuals. I also think people play basketball more so. Nobody plays American baseball other than maybe Japan. Well, or, not maybe Australia. Japan and, yeah, yeah. and Australia and a couple places. But that's, again, a, a decision the NBA made to go and push the sport overseas. They sent coaches decades ago I get it, but, but it's, it's also that. It's also easier to play when you have, in, in those countries, where maybe you don't have, you can't. Everybody can't buy gloves and fields. It's easier with just a basketball like soccer. Yeah, I mean that's fine. But I, I think a big part of it is the fact that they marketed them, and and all these companies you mentioned, Nike, Adidas, these are worldwide companies. These aren't just American companies. So uh, I think that's part of it. But I think I, I think Trevor Bauer's right. Major League Baseball does need to market its individuals more. With Ken Griffey Jr., you talk about it all the time with his hat backwards. They should have played off that. They've tried now. It's a little late. He's retired. But they should have played off but of that, his individuality. But players were the ones who pushed back well, because that's what I'm talking to about. Change too. I'm talking about the traditional thing. They thought it was disrespectful, which was ridiculous. But anyway, let's I get on that. They to, need to let's get on to the other part too. A lot more. I agree with We're, Bauer. I, I'm not. I'm not that big on the on the. You have to pitch the three batters. This whole movement to me, you got to be very careful. Don't alienate the people who love the game to try to get fringe people or people uh, who really might not like your sport or might not be interested to try to get them involved. I understand. I'm not you against change. Try to get more. I'm not. Fans, I'm not though. against change. The average baseball fan is 55 years. I'm not. Old. No, it's not true. I'm that, not. It, it, but, is that true, Rob? No, it's not. It's in statistics. I go, I go to games all the You're time. You're 56. It's not, it's, I go to games all the time. There's a lot of that young people That doesn't mean families may bring it's their children. Is it, is it been reported? It's not true. It's been reported as 53. I, I, so I, I'm going to take the reports okay. or, I, and surveys or your word, whatever, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying there's a lot of young people at baseball games. But anyway, here's my point. I'm not that crazy about it. What if my guy doesn't have it and he has to stay in? We saw Clayton Kershaw come into the into the playoff game last year and give up a home run on the first two pitches he threw. According to this new rule, you got to keep him in. Maybe he don't have it. I'm. I'm I, do, do, can we think about that? We have to keep him in. I got. I, I, I got to keep him in if he doesn't have it. I'm fine with the rule, but I think a better rule is, and I've said this before, is that each team gets four pitchers per game. You don't have to use four, but the max you can use is four. And so if my guy, my third pitcher is getting rocked, he doesn't have it, then go. I'll go to my fourth guy. But that's the last guy. If he's getting rocked, so be it. We lose I, that. And night. I get it because it's just too many the specializations too much. where where one guy comes in, throws one pitch to one guy, then they break, they warm up another guy. No, I Rob, get it. It's a lot. You and it's I, a lot. we grew up in the day when guys would pick complete games were commonplace. Or a closer, can a brother get a complete game? Or a closer would pitch the last three innings. Right. Like a closer would pitch three innings, not just the ninth inning. He pitched seven, eighth, and ninth. There was seventh, no eighth, such thing as a quality start. We're making up rules, and I come on. I'm I don't need to see eight, nine pitchers in a game. 
Four is plenty. So I, I'm fine with this rule. You make a great point, Rob. If the guy gets first pitch as a homer, <laughs> pitch to the next guy, he oh. doubles like – I'm getting him out, but I'm, now I'm in trouble. I need to at that, least keep him right. in there, and that, that might take me out the game. What That's if, why I think just saying four pitchers. Do you like the new rules change for the NBA? For MLB. Oh, I'm sorry, MLB. A pitcher must face at least three batters or close an inning. Let's start with Wayne in Virginia. Wayne, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's, what's up, up man? Same old, same old. Good to speak with y'all again. It's been a while. I was in Georgia last time we spoke. I moved up. Okay, cool. Very Congrats. nice. Appreciate that, y'all. So, baseball is my fourth favorite sport, right? So, that's behind football, tennis, and basketball. All right. Um, I'm a huge Nationals fan. And honestly, I think it'd be good, the new rule changes, right? Um, and I love what y'all said about the, the four-pitcher maximum. That'd be dope, right? I think what baseball truly needs to bring in a new, you know, generation it's some new rules. Let's let's be honest, right? I said it's my fourth favorite sport. I put tennis above baseball, right? And I love baseball, but I love me some tennis. Why? Because of the competitiveness, because of the the fact that you feel like you're a part of everybody's story. I don't feel like that with baseball. Now, if you go ahead and put more, you know, uh, restrictions on the rules and the pitches and everything else, it's gonna it's gonna make you able to be more familiar with the names and everybody else. Who's the seventh pitcher on the Dodgers, right? The seventh best pitcher. Uh, but that's never Nobody been the case. I, I got it, Wayne, but that, that's never been the case. We know who the star pitchers are and the star relievers. I mean, Chris, I, I could go back to the Yankees of the 50s that won all the World Series and you couldn't name the seventh right. and eighth pitchers. That, right. That's not really the, a part of of what we're looking at. It's He's about clearly getting the a name. big tennis fan because right, most is fine. people aren't familiar with and, many of the and, stories and outside you talk about of the ten, right. and, and the same uh, – tennis, Chris, it's the same three or four players right. who right. win every year. So I'm just right. – really. No wonder you're familiar with <laughs> Allen in Kentucky. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, guys. How we doing? Great, doing great. man. How are you? Hey, I'm doing fine. Uh, Rob, I'm going to disappoint you right off the bat, brother. I am not a baseball fan. That's all right. Hey, okay. there's 70 million been... people who buy tickets every year. It's all right, <laughs> Alan. It's all right. I haven't, be- I haven't been since I flunked out of Little League because I couldn't hit the damn ball. Well, I, <laughs> I understand that. There's a lot of guys like you who, you know, got frustrated with the game because they can't hit. It's a hard thing to do. Yes, it is. Make yes, it, it is. Hard. But I am a marketing professional, and here's my problem with the with Major League Baseball. You can't see these guys' faces. 99% of the people in this country, probably more than that, couldn't look at a baseball player and tell you who he was. Alan, Alan, before let me stop you. And other than a couple of the quarterbacks in the NFL, there's a, there's 90% of the NFL is anonymous. It's Agreed the, sa- with it's the that same completely. thing. It's got, the same thing. I got the same problem with the NFL. They got the same problem. The NFL's got the helmets game. on, though. Baseball exactly. players NBA, should be recognized. No, but they got hats on, them. too. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, but that's not like a helmet. No, but I'm saying. but They but, used to be more that, recognizable in the 70s and 80s. Well, but there were other players and people come and go. You can't tell me. I'm, I'm just saying. there's a. There's they, don't, a they need to market better, Rob. There, there's still, They're Chris, individuals. there's still a wave of, of Hall of Famers who all just retired from Jeter to Bonds. to. I could go through the list. And this is a new wave. This happens but, all but the time. Are, but he's right that a, a Dude, everybody knew Mike who Barry Trout, Bonds was. Mike and, Trout and, could be walking down the street and most people wouldn't know who he everybody is. Everybody knew who Barry Bonds. Everybody okay, knew who Roger years Clemens. Ago. No, but I'm that's telling you why. Ago. These are Hall of Famers. Mike Trout's going to be a Hall game. of Famer. He's still a relatively young player. That's How many all I'm years saying. has he played? I don't know, six or seven? Zion Williams has played eight games, nine totally games. He could different. walk down the street and there's everybody only, would know him. There's only a handful of players uh, that people Not know. Not in the NBA. Yes, it is. In the NBA? I'm talking about coming out of college. He people was a, know Matt He Bars. was the first overall pick. People know Steven Jackson. They don't they were, know. They no, they don't. No, they don't. They everybody, don't? everybody doesn't know those Stop guys. it. NBA people Stop know Stop it. Them. There's a lot of people, Chris, will go, oh, you're tall. Did you play in the you're, NBA? Rob, this is not. You're, people you're, used, you're off. People you're used off. to people Ryan used to stop, Scalabrini, people, people know. used to stop me on the airplanes and say, what team do you play for in the NBA? Because I was six foot four are, are sitting in really first class. Are you really going to sit here and say <laughs> yes. NBA, NBA players are not more recognizable you, no, than baseball players? I'm not players. saying that. that. Okay. I'm telling you, you're trying to I'm say saying. that every scrub that they know, every scrub on the NBA. I'm not calling Matt Barnes and You know what I'm talking about. Those Was he an all-star? Was he an all-star? No, but you're a but, scrub. but I'm just saying, they don't know every player in the league. Of course not. 
But they know many of them a lot more than baseball and Terry, football. Terry in Illinois, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hi, Rob. I love FSR. Thanks for having me on. I think you're exactly right about the – that's why they call it relief pitching. Is if what the guy comes in doesn't have it. I mean, then you've got – you're taking the strategy uh, out of uh, – the, 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 the coaches. The, the right, to keep a guy in who doesn't have it. You got to keep him yeah. in. But, Terry, yeah, don't you get tired of if they're, the endless parade of pitchers, fit, you know, facing one or two batters? You don't get tired of that? The, 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 there's other – they're trying to do the shorten the game, understand that, but there's, there's other ways and better ways to shorten the game. Make them stay in the batter box. Don't let them throw the ball around after a ground ball out. Stuff like that. And I think the advantage goes to the hitting team because then you can bring up a left handed batter. I mean, there's all, I think, I think the advantage goes to the hitting team. I think it's a bad rule. Right. right. If we bring in a right hander now, I'm going to bring in three straight lefties and I got, and he has to pitch to all of them. Back in the day, they didn't switch off like this. Game's changed. You, you fi- okay. I thought the game wasn't changing. It has changed. You're right. No, right. but I'm saying it's I'm, had a ton of changes anyway. Not rules changes, but like every other sport. I'm right. That's in what I said. Rules played. changes. What's happening, y'all? It's Chris Broussard. I'm Rob Parker. And we are The, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Check us out as often as you can on YouTube. And always remember, I'm Oscar and he's Felix. Oh, man. Are you serious? <laughs>